Hi viewers, today we are going to start Microsoft Access. This is session one in which I will explain uh, from basics to advanced level the Microsoft Access, why we should use it and uh, what are the differences, why we need to use Access instead of Microsoft Excel. Sorry. Please remember that it's not that if you know about Access, so you don't need to use Excel. Both Access and Excel goes side by side. You need to use both of them. It is impossible that you can do without Excel. Uh, you can do without Access, yes, but you cannot do without Excel. If when it is related to data, data analysis data management information management yes access microsoft access give you some easy and uh, user friendly features which if you combine with microsoft excel so you will be successful so here you must uh, see for example this is microsoft excel here you have a data management system, a database. So for this, access is good if you want to keep a database. But when it comes to analysis, so then MS Excel is easy. But Microsoft has done a great favor that both the MS Access and Excel are compatible. You can use them both. Both of uh, you can. Uh, import and export Excel to Access and the Excel data to Excel very easily and without any issue. Now, so you must remember that without, if someone says that if I learn Excel, so I will get rid of Excel. No, it's it, it's never going to happen because you can't do some of the things when it comes to data management and data analysis and information management. Uh, in uh, Access, which you can easily do in Microsoft Excel. Now, uh, some this is Microsoft Access. Now you see here is a database that I have developed. In Access, you can develop sub, such easy interfaces, forms for yourself, where you can just you know use filter and extract data and um, forms and beautiful reports. So that's very easy here, but you need MS Excel for it also. So now, for example, here you see, if I select a district and I say that I want to see a report of this district, so click go, and then uh, you will see here a beautifully designed report about that district, uh, who is responsible, where is the district, uh, what are the details, whichever is available with you in database and all the details you can add here. For example, you have this Excel database and uh, you want to present it in a very uh, attractive form. So for that, you can use Access. Just take your data from Excel to Access and develop their uh, forms. So when it comes to tables, Excel and Access both are same, but when it comes to queries, forms, reports, then you can do that in a better way in Microsoft Access. So if you use both of them combined, then you would be 100% successful and uh, you won't need any other software if you don't know. Uh, nowadays, there are Pythons and others analytical uh, softwares also, and you should learn them also. Those are also very good. But if it's hard for you, so if you know about Excel and Access, you are, in my opinion, king in the data management and queen in the data management and data information systems. You don't need any. Ah, unless if the data is, you know, billions of, trillions of data, then it would not be possible to manage that here. But if it is up to, 1 million and you know 2 million that, that, that's easy that's easy to uh, the queries and the reports are now available in excel also but those are very advanced level and very difficult to understand 
uh, for a common name. But in Access, it's very easy. The even the Visual Basic codes you can learn within five and ten minutes. You won't have any problem. So Microsoft Access is basically uh, a software where you can manage your data with queries, with forms, with reports. Uh, but you will need Excel also, uh, and that the reality anyhow if your data is routine and it's coming up there is compilation so for you for every project management team mne team data management team the best thing is then to use access for data compilation data entry data storing and uh, queries also and use microsoft excel for data analysis and data dashboards etc you because you can easily uh, extract from microsoft access to microsoft excel now here for example i have a district wise data or for example i have a staff by staff name or by other uh, details so you can use that or for example, there are some other teacher profiles. If you have an education project and you have thousands of teachers, you want to develop a profile for each teacher which details of his and her activities. For example, in Excel, we have a person here. He is doing some activities. And here you are recording them again and again, again and again. So Access can give you a such form for each person where uh, that uh, can show you all the details of that person in one page in a simple form and you can print also that you can convert that to a pdf you can share it and uh, etc so if you know at least the basics in ms access and you have some advanced knowledge of excel you would be great in data management in data analysis and information management so let's start here understand what microsoft access is how to use it and why to use it so first of all microsoft access when you open it from here from the your start menu so you will see uh, this interface in the start where it says a blank database there are some suggested templates also available in Microsoft Access uh, and you can use them also but those would be if you need them so you can check them open them so they would have already developed tables and queries and some reports and you can use them but if you want to develop your own from the scratch so just start it from here blank database give a name a location a proper location and just save it for example i am saving it right now for you here so that we may uh, i may later share it with you uh, for your information and your record so let me save it here database one okay create yes when you create and when you open the microsoft access it gives you a table here uh, which is already in the design mode and you are going to start it so just close it we are not yet going to that first of all in microsoft access you must understand that there are four things you must know in the microsoft access number one is tables number two is queries number three is forms and number four is reports the first one table that would be easy for you if you already know about microsoft excel onward queries and those will also be a little bit familiar because you have already used microsoft excel and pivot tables and formulas etc so that is also almost similar so let's start with the table first when you open the microsoft access and when you 
so first you will see here the home tab here if you see everything is uh, disabled why because i haven't created yet anything so you need to start from the create tab here in the create tab you see as i already mentioned this this is the section for tables this one is for queries this one is for forms and this one is for reports those three things are here and there are some macros and modules and visual basics etc that we would be discussing later on so let's start from the table in microsoft excel here if you see when we are working in microsoft access and we want to develop a database so we just open a sheet here in the excel and just start with the headers and we assign the header names for example if it is a teacher database or a uh, health manager database or any other database so we start with the ids and names and gender and contact and province and district etc so that we can do here in excel simply uh, assigning the header names and then we are uh, when we uh, want to apply some validation that this text this column is for text and this column is for number so we apply the validation now in access when you create uh, click the create tab and uh, press the table so here it gives you a table in the tabular form in microsoft access when you are creating a table so you need to go to the design mode and that design mode is uh, like this for example here it gives you uh, an auto generated table uh, where the first uh, column is id and then you can create the other columns here these are the, these are those columns similar to the microsoft excel now here when you start with creating a table so you need to click on the design mode right click design view this design view uh, it would ask you first for the table name what is the name of this table so i am starting with the main table so this is my main database so i am just assigning a name main db and okay now it is open in the design mode in the design mode in excel as i showed you you just type the names but here in microsoft access you have to assign field names here here you have to assign the data type that which type of column is this and here you can add the description which is optional but you can add some more details about that column and by default microsoft access give you a first column with id which is an auto number it would be creating this but at this time we do not need this auto number column and this this sign you see this is primary key in microsoft access the primary key is also a very important thing that we will be discussing discussing later on and you would need these primary keys for different columns for the time being i do not need this so i will just click this and delete yes i do not need this for the time being i am assigning my own field name and data type when i assign all the field name and data type and then i will come here to the view tab and here i will uh, use this data sheet view one is design view one is data sheet view and data sheet view it's simple as uh, you have already seen in microsoft excel and the design mode is when you are designing the field names and the data type and the description and implying validation etc so here let's start with creating our main database for example in microsoft excel we have this uh, database and i am developing this one in the microsoft excel so the first one for example our database is for teachers your database might be for uh, your database might be uh, for different purposes but here let's start with this example of teacher database 
So first I would need a CNIC. Why a CNIC? Because that is unique and I would like to use that as a uh, primary key for teachers also. So uh, let's start with CNIC. Uh, here I have added a field name CNIC. What would be the data type? So let's see what are the options. There are different options and we would be discussing each one. Now let's say uh, the CNIC data type. Most of the people uh, sometimes uh, assume that CNIC is uh, data type should be a number. No, it should not be a number. It should be a short text because there you can use dashes. Uh, there might be some other um, and in different areas it might be different. There might be text also in some IDs. Short text why you will see this later on cnic then i need name of teacher now you see in excel we can write it like this name of teacher but in microsoft access when you are assigning the column names the headings the field names so do not use spaces never use spaces you should write it like this name of teacher without spaces just like email addresses or you can use underscore name of teacher but it would be very lengthy so just use name teacher or just say teacher name without any space and here that would also be a short text anyhow if you want to add some details so you can add those details here in the description for example this is cnic so cnic of the person now here you can add with dashes without dashes etc all those details and here you can say name of the teacher you should add this description because later on if someone is doing data entry etc so these would be available to him and he would understand what does this column is asking from me then after teacher name i need gender or whatever column you need so you just go on and add them gender is also a short text here contact number contact number is also and do not use the space remove the space is always contact number so that would also be a uh, that can be you assign you can assign a number but if later on you say that i need the dashes between the contact number so then it would be an issue if you have assigned a number so use short text mostly use number only for those columns where you want some formulas that i would be calculating these columns with sum and products and other formulas so then you should add the number format otherwise short text anyhow if you want that how i would be able to restrict that column to digits only so that you can do in the data validation which would come later on so short text and here you can add the description detailed description are just like we did in the kobo and online forms where you add subtitles or other details then i would need province district the seal so i am just adding here province that would also be a short text district that would also be a short text the seal that would also be a short text cluster code if you need emis of the school now emis of the school is and you can later on also change these data type that would not be an issue for you because you can just copy and paste anything from microsoft excel if your columns if your field names are same for example here in this database my field names are same uh, the sequence is same so i can use it and you can import this whole database the excel database also to microsoft access and it would automatically assign these field names and this data types and these disk uh, these details but now just for your learning and understanding let's create it here from the scratch then uh, for example you need school name 
so I am adding here school name so let me use such column where we would be needing some uh, other data types and later on you can see for example here you need uh, the, the next data type might be long text long text is used for description type remarks type for example if you want some detailed description of an activity or some detailed text so you need to use long text uh, for number for example uh, here I uh, need now a school name staff assigned okay stuff assigned remove the space and here now you see date registered so I would say date of registration now it's very lengthy use short text here so date of rig that's enough you can add these details here date of the registration of the teacher now here I would need data type date you see here data type date time date time extended what is the difference between these two date time it's a short date just day month and year date time extended that is extended where you would see the day for example uh, if today is uh, Monday 24 January 2022 so the extended date would give you the uh, name of the day also that um, Monday 24 December uh, January 2022 and in short date it would just say 24 uh, January 2022 so uh, you can use both of them I am just using this date type this is for that now quarter page this is simple uh, quarter page here if you have a registration date so you do not need these two columns in excess because uh, excess can generate these two columns uh, with queries also quarter that can also be generated status that is a text column reason I am just going okay now phase one here you see training days phase one now here this this, this, this uh, field name is also very lengthy so why not we use TRG for training days phase one and here you can write the details that number of days teacher attended training in phase one you can add all these details in the description now here the data type should be a number because I would be doing some calculation on this column now number in number also there are two types number and large number so I just need a simple number because it would might it might be two days three days four days five six seven eight maximum ten so I just need a number and then for phase two also the same type of format date of training so for that also you need the same date of registration column uh, I just I am just saving your time just to use those data field type for where you would need them uh, onward you see all these are numbers columns and then text column now let's see the other data types for example currency where would you need currency for example if you are adding a column here cost of training so you just need here a currency column that here a currency would be used cost of training now for example the next one is uh, auto number auto number is the same for example in the start you want that it should create an auto number in that if you want a serial number which, which is auto generated whenever a new entry is done so it would give a new serial number to that so for that we use auto number and they, this one we would be using later on for uh, different uh, IDs creation yes no for example if here I just want a yes no column a yes no format column for example um, the question is 
uh, availability of material. You might be thinking about uh, a drop down of yes no. Yes, that is a little bit like that, but those drop down you can add later on with other options also. So, for example, let's see. Now, let's see this in the view in the data sheet view. Okay, data sheet view it says you must first save the table. Yes, save it. Now, here you see the similar type as you have already worked in Excel, so you can see all these. Here you see that yes, no, it gives you this option tick mark. It's not that it would give you a drop down of yes and no. It's just a tick mark. For example, if there is uh, this question that whether material is available or not, so you just check it. And when you would be um, extracting the data, so it would uh, automatically give you yes when it is tick mark and no when it is not tick mark. So this is that data type. Here you see the currency one. It shows the dollar format. You can change it to PKR or INR or any country format. That is that we would be doing later on in the data field validation types. And here you see we added a number format. So a zero is already written here. And here uh, this was a date column. So it would give you a calendar type here and you can just pick a date from it column so this is the data sheet view and that one was uh, in the view you see design mode in design mode you see these types and and when you go to the data sheet view so it gives you all this information and here it has already created that auto number also uh, for example, if I am just doing an entry here and if I go to this field and write another, so it would be giving uh, auto numbers. But this auto number is not that uh, primary key one. And add on your column, whichever columns you have. So this is the basic format of creating a table. Now we have created our main database table. But there are other types of tables also you need to create in Microsoft Access. For example, in Microsoft Excel, when we were working, so we were talking about the data source. What are the data source sheets? For example, we have a list of districts where we are working. So this is my data source table. So you need to create these data source tables also. There would be, for example, if it's related to locations, so there would be district, there would be tehsil, and there would be gender uh, drop downs, all those drop downs that you need. So, all you need to create those in Microsoft Access when you are creating a location table, just to use that aim for drop down and queries. So you should create that with all the details. For example, just don't use a district column. Use district column. Then also uh, to which province or to which county that district belong, to which country that district belong and all these details you should add because in Microsoft Access if you have this type of table so later on in forms and in queries it would be very easy for you to calculate or to uh, summarize your data against different criteria. You will see that in the because Microsoft Access is actually a relational database. So it would create all those relations with locations and with the uh, provinces. So now let's, for example, in this database, we would need uh, province, district, seal, etc. So let's create a data source table now. Collect the information of all the teacher and you say that I don't need any other teacher. So you can just create a teacher's data source from this table very easily where the CNICs are, the ID cards or any other 
ID that you have created for that teacher so you can use a data source for that also because a teacher in this database uh, might repeat for different types of activity so you should create uh, tables for those uh, columns or for those uh, fields of information where you think that it would be locked on this uh, number for example in gender it might be male female transgender and other so there are just four things so you can create a drop down table for that province yes province would be maximum 100 200 300 so you can create for that also for district for the seal for emi yes and for school also you can create if you have all the list of your schools and all the list of your uh, schools emi yes so you can create just one and later on it would be very easy for you that if you either select an emi yes so it would automatically add a school name or if you just select a school name so it would automatically add the emis of that school so such type of data source tables are very important in microsoft access those are important in excel also so uh, in the start you should create all these tables also now for location let me create one for locations okay so for uh, for that i would go again to the create then i would say uh, table i would select table and here i would uh, go to this table click the design view i would give a name locations this is for locations now here also i do not need this id column so here first i would need the location uh, for example uh, it depends on your data if you want that i should start from villages so you can create one combined list for example village you see the seal district province country and you can add the continent and anything now this is my location but here if you see village would be one time but you see the seal district province and country might be repeated so this is only for locations so i would name it let me close this and rename this to uh, rename this to location village this is the basic one now let me create another one for uh, drop downs and other easy references so another table i would just go to the design view and here i would say i need this one for uh, uses okay this one is for uses now in the uses also i do not need this auto number here i would you see and you should be adding the seal district province and country now in this table uc would be one time that would be a unique value but the seal district province and country would be repeated so now i would create one for the seal then one for country then one for province and then if you are doing in multiple countries though then a list of the countries also so you should have all these locations type tables readily available you can do this easily like this also for example i have created one with locations village so this one should be locations uses now i would uh, i need another one for uh, tehsils so just select this right click copy paste control v and give it a name locations tehsils okay now come here right click design view and remove this uc column from it it, just like this now i will show you why i am creating these this is for the seals now so control s save close now from this the seal one right click copy and paste and give it the seal now district 
okay so here in this district also go to the design view and remove the seal and control s now copy the district one control v paste it and now i need for the province go one level up location province now in this province also go to the design view and remove the district now if you have if you are working in multiple countries then you need to create one for country also but if you are working in one country so then just stop with this province table and country is already there so that's it these are these locations tables and why i used location 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 just to keep them in sequence these would be available to you in sequence if you just create these names with district province they seal so a district one would be here the province one would be there because you would be creating multiple other tables also so when there are similar types of tables so in the start use a similar word if you don't want to use this lengthy location name so you can just say rename it and just add loc that stand for location lock district lock province lock the seal lock uc lock village so that also you can do so these are my data source table now and this one is my main table now if you think that why i am creating those other tables so here in the queries you will have these links you see these links where you will have to link all these tables with locations and with different information that's why we need those tables which would make your work very easy when you would be doing the rest of the work so here you just need these tables now in the main database whichever columns you have you should have um, a similar type of table now we have a village table a uc the seal etc now i need if it is a teacher database so i would need one for schools also so if i have a table for name of the school emis of the school where is the school available the village name and the district and the seal so it would be very easy for me to link my main database with that school and i would not need to enter that school name and emis and the seal and village i would just select a name of the school and all these information would automatically be updated this is the benefit of microsoft access because it's most useful for data entry interface and storing data for analysis as i mentioned in the earlier part of this session that you can do in the excel but this one is very beneficial the access is very beneficial when you are creating a database where you are generating data when you are where you are entering data and updating the data so that's why you have to create these tables and that you will see also but um to cut it short we understand now that how to create a table in microsoft access now let's see that when i was creating this table in the design view so go to the design view so here i was adding field names that would what would be the column names of my database what is the data type here i was adding the description now what is this part so let's look at this part now here you see for each column when you click a field name for example this one the id card or the cnic column when you click this one so here you see for in the general tab field size what should be the size of this field how many characters are allowed in this field now it depends if your id number is 15 digits so you just add here 15 and this is the data validation part 
uh, that we do in the Microsoft Excel. So you just add 15. So here, when someone would be adding an ID card or a specific number that you have assigned this field to, so the field side would be restricted here. Now, if the ID of your country, of your location is um, uh, greater than 15, so whatever characters you want here, you can add those characters here. Format. This is the format table here. You can add some formulas to restrict the format of this uh, data uh, field. Uh, input mask. Input mask is just like in Microsoft Excel, we were replying those data validations to our input mask. For example, if it's a phone number, so how should it look like? This is for that zip codes, extensions. Uh, should it be a pass if it is a password field so it would um, change the input mask to this just like in Microsoft Excel here when we are doing this uh, format cell option and here uh, you see these these input masks these are the input mask dates for dates different type of input mask for time in custom also we are using some different types of for example, for contact number, if you want that there should be a dash after three digits and etc. So that is, uh, we use this input mask for that. And here you can just then go in. But we will be doing this also when we would need it for a specific field. For example, in this contact number here, I need it. Input mask. So let me go to this. First save oh, your table. And here I can add this format. I can add this format also, this format also. But I am not using this input mask. I would use it only if I need a password type or something because uh, uh, I can do all these things with this format also. And this format is the same as we do in the customization of the cell in Microsoft Excel. Caption. If you want to add a caption, the label for the field when used on a view if you don't enter a caption, the field name is used as the label. Default value. If it's, for example, a province and you say that my province is only one. So you can use here a default value here that Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa or whichever province you is. You can write that. So automatically that field would have that name. If someone want to change that, they can change it. But by default, there would be that name visible. Now here the validation rules, you can um, use the validation, different types of validation rules here, functions, um, constants and operations and all these formulas are here and you would need these for different uh, fields when we would be working uh, in the advanced mode. So this is for the advanced uh, Microsoft Access. Validation text, if someone violate the validation rule, so what would be the validation text? just like we did in the data validation in Microsoft Excel. Required. Uh, if you want that this column entry must be uh, as mandatory. So you can use this yes, no required option. All these other you would see in the advanced options uh, whenever we would be needing them. And these general formatings uh, are available in the forms also, in the... Uh, in the forms also and in the tables also and that you can do later on also but I just want to introduce now in this main DB for example if you forgot to add a column so in this main DB just come click right design view wherever you have uh, not added a column and you want to add for example if you want to add at the end so just go on adding you have a lot of uh, field names available. But if you want to insert it between other columns, for example, if here you have forgot another column, so just click this, select it just like you select the rows in the MS Excel, right click and say insert row. If you want to delete a, a, a field name, so delete row, insert row and here you can add. Or if later on you say that this, this column, this column should come before this. So you just need to click and drag it wherever you want. Just like Excel. 
and uh, or you can do it right click cut and just go there and right click and paste so you can add and remove all those columns now uh, since uh, i was practicing with you this uh, main teacher database so let's work on this so we have added all these columns now up to the training i have added all these columns because when it comes to teachers so in the start when you are registering all the teachers of the schools so you would be registering them in the first training or if you are not registering them in the training so you just close your table on this and then later on when they do the training so you can add another table for training uh, there you can just uh, create another table and used only two main columns from this main db if it is for teacher so use the cnic or the any id number and the teacher name in that database also and add on so you can later on relate and correlate these tables with them in the queries that's very easy in microsoft access we will be doing all these steps so now for example if i have completed it under training now here we start with the meetings for example if later on you would be conducting meetings with those teachers some support would be provided to them and uh, you would be doing classroom observation then so you can add another database for them in the form format and that can be added with these teachers now this one was my main db for these teachers and from this I can create a school look uh, source table just like we created for villages and districts. I can create from this because uh, if you see uh, teachers uh, in the same school, you can select two or three teachers. So you can then create one table for schools also. I will show you that. So now we have completed our first table of creating the main DB for teachers. Okay and let me give it a name rename this let me rename this to main db teachers okay now i have completed this so if you want that i would be doing the data entry here in the microsoft excel that's also okay but if you have already created an excel database and you have uh, already added all the data of these teachers so you can do just one thing that's very easy and that is to come here select this data without the heading columns copy and delete this information from here it was just click this click this step and copy and paste control v the field is too small to accept the amount of data you are tempted to add. try inserting or pasting less data now there might be a column where i have added a, a field type which is not similar to the excel so that's why it's doing all the giving me this error anyhow it has already inserted all that. that's why it was saying are you sure you want to paste this record yes record that microsoft access one unable to paste have been inserted into a new table cast called paste error so if there are some errors so it can uh, it creates another table with the paste error table okay now you see here here i have a table where it has pasted all the error let's open it and see what were the errors these 48 records uh, it says that there were some errors so i have not pasted these records in your microsoft uh, access format so that you need to see then uh, which columns had that issue and let's uh, um, confirm for example this first cnic let's select that t and why yeah css yes, because there are b's with these cnic's and here in this cnic field if you remember we added 
a field size 15 character and when there is a b so it would increase the number of that so uh, you should uh, these b's were available with these cnic's because i just used an old data and there we created some dash b's and dash c's with cnic's for different purposes so that's why it created this problem now but if you face such problem so you can see this past error table and that would guide you that which of the record i have not added here and why they have not added here now this is our table in the microsoft access that has already been populated so as i told you in the start also that it's very easy to paste copy and paste from excel now if your database is from the scratch and you want the data entry here so you would need to create a form for your uh, table uh, for data entry because here in excel you can do this entry in this table also just like you do in the microsoft uh, excel it's not that problem for example here you come to the end and you start just data entry of cnic and names etc but the benefit of access is that you use the forms so that you don't have any issues in the data validation so now let's create a form for our main database of teacher that my staff in the field would be using this access database for data entry of the registration of the teacher so this database is now for the registration of the teacher so how you can create the form uh, and what about these location etc that we can fill we would generate such tables in microsoft excel and we can easily fill these with our information for example for villages uh, what i would do i have already an excel my complete database so i will just uh, copy those columns which column i need village uc tehsil district province and i will make them in excel and just copy and paste here and similarly for UCs, the seal province district and for district i have already available my table which of the district i am working those districts are here available with me for example in the data source those were i would just add a province column and a country column also i just just show you this one table for example country also so these all are in khaybar pakhtunkhwa so i will create this in excel first it's easy in excel to create and this is in pakistan so these three column i need for district so let me select these copy and here paste them yes okay so i have a district column available here now for provinces i have just one province currently but if you have more than one so you can use this microsoft access also because that's easy and that is in pakistan if i want other provinces also to be added here later on maybe i use them so punjab balochistan uh, sindh and then we can add our other regions gb and ajk also and uh, islamabad is a capital also and then just paste it's similar as uh, you work in the excel just copy and paste those are these columns and this is my provinces table we would need that uh, this in the form that's why and for the seal also you can uh, develop the seal district province country so let come uh, let's come here and from the main database we can uh, take these three column these three column copy them go to a new sheet paste them now here the tehsil column should be the first one then we should have a district column you see an excel an access here Tehsil district province country Tehsil district province and here I would add a country column Pakistan 
if you have other tehsil also let's see if there are some duplicates so we should remove those duplicates from tehsil because in tehsil this tehsil column would be unique for us in every table and this district table district would be unique and the province province would be unique tehsil tehsil uc and uc uh, location a data source table uc will be unique and here village so here i need the tehsils to be a unique so let's select all of them go to data i told you in the start that you would need excel everywhere come here say remove duplicate on which column i want to remove duplicate unselect all on tehsil so just select tehsil only don't select the other column and okay so you see these are the tehsil those were not duplicated if your list is lengthy so you can use all those tehsil just copy head come here and paste and okay so we have the location tehsil province and districts available you see in village we will develop later uh, we don't have village name yet uh, we have the village names but that is the school name i think and we don't have a specific village name so i can do that from the um, school names here uh, when i have all these school names so i can remove the gps ggps etc and extract the village names and that i will show you later so i have these three tables now ready locations so now let's go to the creating a form now how to create a form here you see main db teacher select that your table on which you want to develop a form first you have already created a table so that's very easy for you now to create a form go to the create now here this is the form tab we will come to queries when we are doing analysis etc form now here in the form it says form form design blank form i don't not blank blank form because if you click blank form blank form are used when you are developing some dashboards etc here i have already a table so i am developing a new form you want to go to design tab or form tab so you can select any one later on you can change that to design mode click form so all the fields in this database it has already taken all those fields and created a form for you but this is not according to your requirement you want it in another shape so you can design and uh, reshape it. the form that you created is also available here actually when you go to this navigation options so the the by default it was like this but if you say that i want all these things here if i save them so you can select this and here you see there are no queries and reports because i haven't created them yet i have created this main form when i saved it it's available here now from here you can select right click now here in the form you have layout view also this is the layout view and the design view also so you click the design view now this is the design view of the form here in the top you see uh if you want to add a logo or a picture of uh, related to this form so you can add that here it has by default added this uh, microsoft access template here the name you can change this name that data entry form for teachers you can just drag it it just just like we work in the microsoft word and in the powerpoint etc and here you can just uh, remove or reduce the size you can add the color uh, how that for that you go to the format every tab is available when it is relevant so here you can add um, a shadow color size uh, font and um, background image you can change you can bring from the computer also and you can change the outline etc so all the design we will be doing so here i have uh, changed the name to a uh, data entry form for teacher now if you see it's like this if you select this step all these are selected why because it these are stacked in the uh, tabular form when you click this one 
सो हियर यू कैन एड अ फिल कलर फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू द कम्प्लीट टेबल ओके नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट दैट आई वॉन्ट ऑल दीज स्टेप्स टू बी सिपरेटेड फ्राम ईच अदर सो दैट आई मे वर्क ऑन देम अकॉर्डिंग टू माई रिक्वायरमेंट सो देन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस राइट क्लिक राइट क्लिक ऑन एनी लाइन हेयर नॉट दिस नॉट दिस वन एंड फॉर द ले आउट कम टू द ले आउट इट सेज रिमू ले आउट दिस इज टेक दिस इज टेबुलर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई से रिमू ले आउट सो नाउ यू सी एवरी सेल इज सिपरेटेड एंड यू कैन नाउ वर्क अकॉर्डिंग टू यूर नीड इफ यू वॉन्ट दिस शुड बी लाइक दिस दिस शुड बी लाइक दिस एंड यू कैन डिजाइन इट अकॉर्डिंग टू यूर नीड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू से दैट फर्स्ट हेयर यू शुड एंटर अ सी एन आई सी एंड दैट शुड बी हेयर इट साइज शुड बी रिड्यूस दिस शर्ट साइज शुड बी इनक्रीज सो यू कैन डू ऑल दैट वेरी ईजीली so uh, that designing we can do later and let me show you now for example here this is the cnic field okay i have already applied one validation but you can apply some more validation here also and how double click when you double click any of this uh, rectangle so here you will see here here you will see different type of field formatting etc and there are numerous types so let's come to the format first this is the format decimal places there are no decimal places visible or not there are many things from here also you can change the colors etc but what i want for cnic for cnic i want come to the data control source yes control source is the cnic field in the table text format plain text input mask input mask you can add here for example uh, here whatever input mask you want for example i want that it should be uh, pakistan for, for example if, if it is in pakistan so the cnic is 00000 dash 00000 dash 0 this is the format i want sorry 10 yeah now here you see in the view form let me view the form now so here you see for example if someone is doing any entry here so you see the field types it's already in that format dashes are here so no one would be able to uh, this is now showing me the old record but i would show you at the end that how you can um uh, hide the old record and just keep it on the new record that i will show you but here i wanted to show you the the input mask format it's the same as we do in the excel right click format cell and we use the 000 dash whatever format you want so here now if someone is writing cnic and he forget to add dash so no issue dashes would be automatically added and no one would be able to enter uh, something which is not in this format so that's the the benefit here so that was in the input mask in the data tab default value there is no no default value validation rule you can apply here some validation rules from this from this place here these are some advanced formulas which you can learn later on that if you want some uh, advanced validation rules for that for this field but this one input mask is simple just like we do in the microsoft excel i have added this input mask for it now let's go to another one tahseel double click so here i want to add now a drop down first you need to now currently this is taking the data from control sources tahseel now what you need to do right click go to change to change to because i want this field to be changed to from a label or a list box to a combo box list box is that which which would be showing a list 
Now here I need a combo box. When I click this combo box, you see here a drop down tab is added. But from where it would be taking a drop down, double click it. Now here you see the control source is the tehsil. But here now two other options are added row source and row source type and bound column. If you click on another column, another cell, so here you see there are in the data tab, those fields are not available. But when you change this text box to combo box, so here if you click, so here you see row source, row, to, uh, row source type. Now in this row source, which of the table contains the seal? That's why we created those tables of the seals. Now which is that table so you just need to come here and select that table from here what is the name of that table the seals okay i these the seals are available in the uses and village also but there those would be repeated that's why we created a the seal location table which with the unique value of the seal so just click the seals so it would be uh, giving you a drop down of the location the seals row source type what is the type of this row source it might either be a table or a query so it is okay i am not going to change bound column now this is that place where i wanted to tell you we created these tables for example if i have a village table in which you see the seal province district is available so why i am creating these just because in every field you would need that relevant table and now the bound column means let me open this the seal location the seal table okay this was the location the seal table now bound column how many columns are there one two three four and what is the number of the column in which the seal is available one so i would select one now if i need the next column to be selected so then i can just say two so it can select that one also and one another benefit let me show you this is one bound column is one limit to list limit to list mean that someone can select only from this list yes no one can write his own the seals this is from the list allow value list edits yes you can add some other new the seals also now there is one most important thing here bound column is one now what would happen let's see if i go to the view in the farm view now this is in the design view i am going to the farm view now you see here i have the drop down list of all the tehsil but i can see only tehsil if why what if i want to show the district name also here and the province name also so that it might be easy for a person to see that if he or she is selecting the tehsil so he or she would be able to see the district name also this is the trick in ms access that you can do here go to the design mode again double click now here in the data tab i added the row source what is the source of the row location tehsil table Ta is table or query bound column is one bound column means the first column it would uh, take the first column only but if i want to show these columns also in the location there is district province country so i can uh, make them visible also how then i would go to the format here in the format you see count column column count one column with now here if i say that you should show the second column also so here i in the format tab i would say count column two let's first see that column count two view let's come here you see here now you can see this one also the tehsil also and the district also but 
द बाउंड कॉलम इज वन ओनली वेन यू सेलेक्ट सो इट वुड टेक ओनली द तहसील नॉट द डिस्ट्रिक्ट बट यू वुड बी एबल टू सी बोथ ऑफ दम नाउ इफ द साइज ऑफ दिस कॉलम यू वॉन्ट टू इनक्रीज आर डिक्रीज सो दैट ऑल्सो यू कैन डू हेयर फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर इन द कॉलम विद if you want that the other column should be counted because later on you would need them in visual basic so let's see that in visual basic but if i press if i type four here four columns that all these columns should be visible now let's see i have added four columns view now you see you are going to select the hasil only but you can see the district the province and the country but columns are you know in the same format and you can see everything clearly so you can change these sizes but that i will show you in the visual basic part because there you would need them how for example if someone select a tahsil so if that tahsil is in dera ismail khan so why would that person then select a district also here that should come automatically the district column should come automatically and this province also why because in this tahsil column we have already added district province and country that's why we added otherwise we can have a table of tahsil one column also no issue we don't need to add this column but that's the benefit that later on if you need these other columns so you can use them that's the benefit so here in the form i showed you how you can in the design mode add a drop down okay bound column if you are drop down table has multiple columns more than one column so you can say bound column is which one for example if this tehsil column contains only one column then you don't need to bound to add a bound column but there are four columns so you added that i hope you would have got that but later on we would be needing all these things so you would see how you and the drop down list and the dependent drop down list is very easy and access for example if you have selected a province so you can bound the district to those province only and if you have selected a district so you can bound the the tehsils to that district only very very easily but up till now we have uh, discussed how to create a table and then creating a form in the first place and later on we in the next session and in the next session we would be doing some advanced options uh, like going onward with this form uh, adding buttons for data entry uh, new records uh, next record previous record how to hide these so uh, the next session would be Uh, the continuation of this same session and in this uh, whole course we would develop a complete database dears on uh, my channel uh, if you visit my channel so you will see the sessions on microsoft excel powerpoint windows uh, online kobo forms uh, microsoft forms google forms and many other sessions so go there watch uh, all these tutorials comment like and share with your friends uh, it will benefit you a lot and this microsoft access session is continued and we will uh, i am working on the session 2